Let me tell the nation that this is the first year that we had to suspend contracts because there is no enough money from road maintenance levy to maintain your roads. Kenya is now grappling with the idea of what we do with recently advertised roads for maintenance. People are asking. Somebody was calling me in the morning. The road between uh, uh, Magadi Road, that is between Galeria to Kiserian. It has portals. And it's called me and say, Waziri, why can't you put, you know, maintain these roads? And Kenya used to maintain it for two years now. We are not maintaining it. Why? Because we are unable to meet the budget. The road network has increased. The road maintenance levy has remained stagnating for eight years. You have some roads that are unable to be covered over the years. So we are facing a, an actual real problem of financing uh, these roads. Let me tell you even more a more painful story. The, of the roads of 10,000, most of them were in Kera. Kera, by structure of the, of the Roads Board Act, does not have money for maintaining roads. Because the money that's allocated to Kera, 22% of the road maintenance levy and the 10% road maintenance levy are maintaining the Maram roads. So there is no ring fence the amount that takes care of Kenya rural roads, roads that are tarmacked. What has happened? Those roads, even some which are still under construction, has not been completed, are worn out before they are completed. If you come from Kajado, for example, you know the road of Imaroro to Isiara, yeah, in Kajado. Portals everywhere. In fact, many people are saying, why don't you just remove the tarmac and level it to Maram so that we don't have to suffer portals? If you come from Nyandaro, for example, you know the road of Boyman to Pasenga. It is completely like it was never constructed. Portals all over. If you come from Nakuru going to Bomet, the worst road of Silibwet to Olenguruani, it has huge, huge, huge portals you know, along the road. If you come from Kisi, you know Kigonge Road. It is, it is in the same situation. If you come from Meru, the Coca-Cola Road has a problem in that town. If you come from places like uh, Nakuru again, Kibunja to Molo. If I speak even from my, you know, recollection, pipeline there to Maunarok Road. The contractor has not finished, but the road is finished on this other end. Because that time there was a decision that we do a low volume seal roads in the hope that it was, we were going to get the budget to do maintenance. Now maintenance is not being done. What are Kenyans saying? You know, you know the roads of Darajambili to Kibuswa, uh, you know, uh, in Kericho, they have a road there called Chepseon. You have roads all over the country that are constructed under the vol low volume seal roads that are actually getting wear worn out. So, and therefore, we have to do something. You've been told about aging roads. Uh, I was told roads age and they also die. You know, if you have a road, you said how many years? 20? Yeah, once a road is above 20 years, you need to remove everything and renew it, regenerate it. If you don't, it dies. And, uh, and, and I'm told it dies. Uh, that, that's what the engineers have told me.